guys welcome back to my channel so today i'll be making a circle dress so this is the dress here it's just a simple dress circle and then with sleeves and i will also add some um, two sides pocket to it uh, so for this i have this material here it's almost like um it's cotton and then i have my tape and my scissors so first i'm going to fold the fabric so guys i folded the fabric this way so i folded it 47 by 40 by like 47 this way almost 48 so if you have if you are working with maybe a shorter fabric just measure out this this length of your fabric place it this way and then that way you will know how much you will need width wise but lengthwise i'm using up the whole length so the next thing i have to do after folding it into two right is to fold it this way so now after folding it this way i'll flip it around so i'm working with this end this is the end i'm going to be working with here so the way it is now i'll start cutting so guys after folding this the only measurement i'm going to be needing for this is the shoulder to the end like the dress length then the sleeve length the bust length the bust around the bust the um the shoulder the armhole that's around the armpit and then going up from the shoulder so that is basically what i'll be needing and then the width and the length of the sleeve you are going to be using so the first thing i'm going to check is the shoulder the shoulder that i'm working with if i divide it by two the shoulder is 15 if i divide it by two that will be 7.5 but i'm going to add half an inch because i'm going to be attaching a sleeve so let's say the half an inch is for the extra like seam allowance for the sleeve so that will be eight so i'll mark eight here And then the next thing I'm going to mark is from this line here, I'm going to come down this way to check the neckline. So I want to work with three as my neckline. So from here, I'm going to mark three on this line and make sure this line is straight. So from here, I'm going to mark three and then here I'm going to come down by three. So I want to make it three by three and then I'm also going to mark it down this way. But you, you know that as you're coming down, it won't be three this way anymore because this uh, is going down as a triangle, so it's increasing. So I'm going to mark my neckline this way. And then the next thing I have to check is the, the sleeve. And then for my sleeve, what I'm working with for the um, armhole is the, the armhole is... Uh, the armhole is 18.5 and divided by 2 that will be 9.25 right so 9.25 that will be here i'm just going to work with 9.5 here and then from here i'm going to mark like um around one inch just to give me the shoulder slants here just like the way you mark your normal bodies that's how you're going to be doing it here and then from here i'm going to come down this way just make sure to keep your hands straight from this angle here and then get to this point mark it down this fabric is very light so i can't so here is going to be your armhole basically what you have to do is check the shoulder that's from the end of the shoulder to the other end of the shoulder divided by two that will be your first line here so you just mark it coming down here check where it fits in so for me it's eight eight fits in here the next thing you check your neckline you mark your neckline and then from this end of the line here you mark your armhole the armhole you have you divide it by two and then mark it here so that will be what i have here i already have a video on how to make these spaghetti um, strap ones but this one here i'm making is just to have a sleeve so if you want to see on how to make this um the sleeveless one you can easily go and you see it on my channel so the next thing i'm basically done here the next thing i have to do is to 
check the length of the dress and the length of this dress is 41 so i'm now going to mark 41 all the way around so the length of the dress so um, i'm going to make it 40 instead of 41 so 40 plus 1.5 that would be um um 41.5 so from here i'm going to mark 41.5 all the way around the 1.5 is for my seam allowance half on half inch at the top and then half inch at the i'm one inch for folding the end so the half an inch i've gone ahead and cut out the end after marking it just the way you mark it is you already know the length so you place it on this line the line that you made for the shoulder and then from this same line you just keep moving it moving it moving it moving it all to the end all around and then you cut it out so the next thing i have to do is just to give it the shoulder slant so for the shoulder slant i'll mark one inch here on this line that i made for the sleeve and then from this line i'm going to connect it here to this 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 one for the neckline i don't know if you could see but just mark it just the way you make the normal body so now i'm going to cut it out the dress doesn't have to be this long but this but this is for an older person and they want it just below the knee so this is what it's going to look like so now i'm going to cut from here and then all the way to the armhole. Oh, okay, I'm going to trim it out. So the next thing I have to do is to open up the side here. So that is, I've cut this. I'm going to open up the side. So this is it here. And then the next thing I have to do is to cut my sleeve for the dress so this is ready open it up this way um this is what i'll be using as my sleeve it's just a piece of cloth this way and then i folded it into two so the way it is now the next thing i'll do is to fold it again this way um, and then this is how i'm going to cut my sleeve so my sleeve length is supposed to be six right and then i'm going to give it one and a half inch for folding so but before that i'm going to mark three here that's what i normally use just mark three this way and then from this three i'm going to just mark like i'm writing an s right then just mark it this way until you're satisfied with it so i think this is okay for the sleeve and then the sleeve width here is 13 and 13 by 2 that will be 6.5 so i'm going to add one inch to it for my seam allowance so that will be 7.5 i'm just going to make it 8 to give it extra room so from here i'm going to mark it down and join it to this line here so from here i'll cut and just in case i forgot this line here i came down by three and then the length of this line is supposed to be your armhole divided by two and my armhole is 19 point um 18.5 divided by two that will be 9.5 so 9.25 so if you see it's 9.5 here so i'm just going to cut from here i just approximated it to 9.5 instead of 9.25 so sorry so this will be my sleeve and as you can tell this fabric is very light so it's really hard to get a straight line this is the sleeve that I'm working with here. This will be the pocket that I'll be using. And then this is the dress. For the neckline of this dress, I'll be using bias for the neckline. So I'll just cut some just cut some stri strips of this fabric and use it to line the neckline. And then from the armpit here to like around 12 inches, that's where my pocket is going to start. And then I'll attach my pocket to the side. So I'm going to do that and come back. 
so guys i've gone ahead and finished up the dress this is the the bias that i use for the neckline and then i also ended up adding two pockets to the side one pocket here and then the other one here so yeah this is the end of the video thank you so much guys for watching and if you enjoyed the video please like share and subscribe bye